What is up everyone? Welcome to today's reaction video and today's reaction is the very special monthly request of my incredible Patreon follower Kat. Kat, thank you so so much for your support and being the incredible person that you are. Uh, thank you so much for being in the Discord and always engaging there and I want to say I am so sorry. Kat is yet another uh, Patreon member. We have so many herd members in June that have their birthdays. Kat's birthday was way at the start of June and I'm so sorry that I didn't get your reaction out back then on your birthday. Uh, I Life was hectic and I didn't get a chance to get to it and I'm so sorry for that. But I want to say happy birthday for the start of the month. I hope you had an absolutely amazing time on your little holiday uh, and that you had an incredible birthday. I, I know it was ages ago now, but I still want to send the love and say, hope that you had a fantastic birthday. And I can't wait to get into the video that you have put in front of me today because this seems like it's going to be really interesting. Just saying, um, I don't know. I, I don't know how to pronounce this. Chimatic? Chimatics? I'm going to say chi chimatic? Chimatics? Somatics. I'm not sure. Either way, science versus music. And it's Nigel Stanford. Okay. Um, the thing that's got my interest is that the first thing you see when you open up the video, like before the video even starts playing, it's already got on the screen. All of the experiments in this video are real and it's science versus music. I have no idea what to expect here. Uh, it, are, are we about to, are we about to hear a song? Are we about to just see a bunch of experiments using music? I don't know, but I'm super excited to find out. Uh, I can't wait to get into this. So we are going to get into this right now. As always, please check out the original video linked in the description below. Give it a like, give it a comment, subscribe to the original artist, and we're going to get into this. This is Science versus Music. Let's go. The film you are about to see has no characters. If you spare a little of your imagination. Already? Already? Just the way this is being made? Mm. This is... This is like philosophy or brain. This is... This is going to be nice because I have been obsessed for ages with like this thing here. Where they put like sand or something and then they put different notes through it and it changes the pattern that it does. So cool. I already have vibes way back here about like, I'm guessing that on certain percussive things, it's going to make the gas come out more or make the fire jump. I'm so freaking excited for this right now. This is going to be so satisfying to watch. This is going to be pure ADHD joy for my brain. I'm keen for this. Let's go. Characters. If you spare a little of your imagination, it is a film to describe to you the effect of cymatic frequencies on matter. Well, now we know it's cymatics. Sorry about the uh, the mispronunciation at the beginning. Uh, Nigel is that 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 was a captivating intro right there. Immediately off the bat, I'm like, okay, I'm interested. Let's go. It's so cool how it immediately jumps from like just with the shift of the note, one note, that's it. It jumps from one pattern to a different one, like snaps from pattern to pattern. It's not even that like you have to play the same note or hold a note for ages for it to get that change to happen. It happens like almost instantaneously. looks like something out of venom just saying that looks like like symbiote freaking out uh because noise is too loud that is literally i, I is i think that's just meant to be water i i assume that it's just like water on top of the bass speaker that's making it do those ripples but the fact that it has 
like definite patterns through it. It's not just like rippling outwards from the center or that it's actually making unique patterns is so cool. Sorry, is that a thing? Did someone just break the simulation? Like, water water has such a weird appearance when it's running like that anyway. Like, I, you all have seen the videos online where it looks like water's coming out of a hose and it just looks like it's frozen solid, but then they either move it or they move something through it and you realize, no, it's not frozen. It's just so, like, it's, it's coming out such a consistent, perfect way that it looks solid. But this you hit a bass drum and it gets an entirely it like the, what the sound wave goes through the water. Like I, I, I don't know the science. I have no idea what is happening here, but that one is the first one where I've been like, is that, is that a real thing? Is that like, it says at the start of the video, all of these are real experiments. These are real things that doesn't seem possible. That's a break in the simulation right there. <laughs> First of all, I didn't realize it's not actually a bass thing. It's like, it, that's like an actual, uh, like electronic thing down there. Cause that's what that like bass drop type sound is. It is a bass, but like not a normal bass drum is what I'm trying to say. Either way, it's got like that warm sound to it. So it's like, it, that's actually an electric thing down there. So that makes a little bit more sense with what it's doing to the water, but I still don't know how it's doing it. But as like, I don't know if this comes down. I don't know what the experiment is here or what the science is here, but this just makes me think of like sound technicians who are just the most crazy people in the world. People who remake sounds for movies and that, like, you know, just the different sound effects. The stuff they do is insane, like literally insane, both in the way of how incredible it comes out and genuinely the things they're doing actually look like a crazy person. Just saying, this is one of those things where I would have never thought that a microphone being just slapped over and over again by playing cards could sound, make this sound and sound this cool. I know they're about to get into like the next experiment thing or the next thing that they're doing here. But the thing that's standing out to me right now is the freaking filmmaking they've done here is breathtaking. Like the ultra zoom on certain parts, the like the way that like the camera angles they've gotten and the way that it looks, some of this stuff looks absolutely incredible. And it's just gorgeous filmmaking. Like this is the kind of thing when you take the science of it and the whole message they've created here of science versus musical science being combined with music. And then you take this kind of filmmaking. This is like, you'll talk about modern art and I, I don't get modern art, a couple of circles painted on a piece of paper or like a painting that is just a blank canvas painted white. That's meant to be so breathtakingly representative. It, it's all a little deep for me. Okay. When I think of like modern art, this is the kind of stuff that should be in a, there should be an exhibit in a gallery where you walk in and just get to watch this damn video, this video for the music, this video for the, the way that they filmed it and the message behind it, this, the, the combination of 
art and science, basically. Uh, I, I love the whole idea behind it. This is absolutely like something that I would 100% consider absolute art. Everything owes its existence solely and completely to sound. Piss off. First of all, uh, that quote was freaking brilliant. Okay. That quote was so cool. Uh, everything owes its existence to sound. That, that is a really cool quote. Second of all, I have one of these in my other room. Y'all, I have one of these little globy things. Okay. I had one as a little kid. I bought a miniature one as an adult because I had one as a kid and it's like nostalgia. As you can see, I'm kind of big on nostalgia. Just saying. Uh, but I've got one of these in the other room. Y'all tell me how I rig that thing up to make awesome sounds because like mine just, mine, mine just does the cool zippy things to your finger. I, I cannot fathom how they made it so that you can play the damn thing like an instrument and however many points of contact there are for the electricity to run to and however strong the connection is to one beam of electricity makes different sounds. That is so freaking cool. I, w I like, I would love to know. I, they could make an entire video that I would watch just on how they set up this one thing. Because everything else, well, that and the water thing, how they got that to work, because that still doesn't make sense in my brain. Everything else, it's like, yep, you put water on top of a bass speaker, it's going to do little jumpy jumps, you know? Uh, I, I knew that one, and I knew about the whole sand thing. I don't know what things you need to make that work, but I knew that that existed. This is either mechanically they've done something absolutely incredible to make the two things integrate, or it's just something I'm completely ignorant of how they do it, which is so cool to me. Uh, damn, I, I, I'm blown away by that. My God, before they, before you move on again with the filmmaking, man, Zack Snyder can go sit in a corner and eat his heart out. Like the way that they caught not only the clash of the symbol in slow motion with what I'm assuming is water. Cause I doubt there'd be dust on it, but like the little particles of water all flying up off it, the way that they caught that at the perfect angle. And then you have it so that you catch that, you get the full ripples through this piece of metal because it's in such slow motion and so clear that you can see the way the metal actually ripples to number one, make the sound, and number two, deal with the impact. But then afterwards, as it comes back down, look at that. You get the light behind it, catching the water droplets, reflecting off of the sim. This is freaking filmmaking. This is so damn impressive. And then we transition. Come on. With that one there, I'm assuming that that would just be like, I, I'm guessing, and again, I have no clue. No knowledge of science, barely any knowledge of music, no clue. I'm guessing that that's like the effect of like a miniature pipe organ type thing. And that in the same way that like pipe organs blow the smoke out, uh, not smoke, the like air out to make the sound, this is blowing, it's rigged up to blow gas out of different spots maybe? Either that or it's just that, no, it, it looks like an electric keyboard. It just looks like an electric keyboard that must be rigged up to something to, I don't even know. 
because it's just consistent flames when he's not playing it. So it must just like, I'm guessing the whole point of the video, I'm guessing it's just the way that the sound interacts with whatever that is, that this is showing the way that sound interacts with gas and fire, I'm guessing. That's cool. Again, I, I, I would love to see a behind the scenes and like a making of this video because I, w I want all of these science things explained to me and how they work in like, you know, basic layman's terms, but it's just so, so cool to see. And I, as soon as I saw the little flames, I was like, oh, cool. They're going to have those like shooting up for like with the music, but I hadn't expected it to be in this way where it was like, it's not that they're going boom up in big explosions or anything. It's not like a wrestling inferno match where every time someone gets punched, the flames jump up. This is just as they're playing the notes, the notes are affecting the fire. And that's really cool. Has this man, has this man just set up a bunch, I believe those are called Tesla coils. I might be wrong, but I believe that those are called Tesla coils. I've seen them before. And I was expecting this song to utilize the like sound of the electricity hitting him or that uh, as part of the beat or part of the music or that. Cause I, I believe that they make sounds when they do that kind of thing. Instead, this guy's just playing the song while dressed in like the, the, the protective chain melee type stuff while everything around him is just casually getting electrocuted. You know, that, that's cool symbol you saw before where I hit it. Now it's got lightning going to it. Cool. Awesome. You know, now there's electricity on the inside and the outside of this little globy thing here. Great. Cool. Like the, 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 the detail that's gone into this, the thought process that's gone into this, I, I need to be able to pick this man's brain. I need to know because this was the last thing I expected to happen with these like electric things to have them all around the room and, you know, just be casually zapping everything in the room. And that's why he's have to, having to wear all the protective gear, which I, again, I need a whole video on just how that protective gear works because it just looks like a chain mail suit. And even if that's just to redirect the current, you'd still think you'd in some way feel it or something. I want to know how those suits work, long story short. But point of my story is, this is nuts. I believe that that sound there is what I was thinking of originally where you get too close to these things. They make these noises like the, 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 the Tesla core. Again, I'm not sure the, the electric -y things, the electric umbrellas, uh, when they zap things, they make those noises. I'm pretty sure that wow noise we're hearing in the background there is like, it showed him walking around it while it's happening. So I'm guessing that's what's causing that noise. Number one, just integrating that into a song is so cool but you're going to have mini ones all around the place. And I can see why at the start of this video between the water and like now these electric bits, I can see why at the start of this video, it had to say, these are all real experiments. Because if I'd seen that ultra close up, again, freaking art, filmmaking to the max, that close up of the symbol as it's being played and literal electricity jumping over to it, I'd have been like, yeah, seems fake. Like I, I, it just, I would have just assumed that it was movie magic doing that, that it wasn't actually happening live. 
and captured with like an incredible slow motion, high definition, super zoom camera type deal. It's, it's so cool. Also, how many takes, how many times must they have done? I keep saying they, I believe from when he was putting on this whole suit, is it just one person or did they just get a whole group of bald guys that all look very similar? I believe it's all just one person, but that doesn't make sense to me either because how many times would he have had to have filmed this to have this work? That, that, that can't be the case because like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six to seven different stations going now. Uh, cause I'm not sure if the one over in the background there is to do with the electric zappy thing. And if it's not, then that's the seventh, that's seven different scenes that all have to be kind of recorded from the same camera angle, uh, and then lay it over each other. I don't think that's what they've done. I think it is different people, but it's just, uh, the one bit back before when they were first putting on the suit. So I was like, Oh, is it all the same dude? Is it all Nigel? If it is again, incredible filmmaking because this all looks like one solid continuous scene. It doesn't look like they've put multiple scenes together. Uh, either way, either way, I'm getting, I'm getting off the track here. I just literally need someone to sit down and explain to me how this was made or I'm not going to sleep tonight. That's the long and short of it because I'm going to be laying awake going, well, maybe if they did this and maybe that affects that in that way, I'm, I'm not going to sleep. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Are you kidding me? I laughed at it because I thought it looked so goofy and so funny of him like throwing his arm backs and jumping in the air. And then the second his feet leave the ground, you get to see the zapping between his feet and the ground. That's the reason it's done. You made me look like a chump. Also, something just sparked my memory when I was seeing this. The fact that this camera before, this section down the bottom here, you saw it like slowly spinning. And that was just a fan starting up basically, just caught in super slow motion. That's so cool. Wait a second. I, I feel like, I feel like Nigel included that at the end there so intentionally because he was like, people are going to go crazy and start pulling their hair out and shaving off their eyebrows if they don't know how at least some of this is done, because I know I would have my next trip was into the bathroom to shave off my eyebrows because I was going crazy. Uh, the, the, I'm so glad that he included that at the end there. Also, I'm just saying there wasn't anything particular at the end here to suggest that there was more people other than just him and a, uh, and, and a filming crew. So I, I'm, I'm now very strongly believing that it was just one guy. And that is so much more impressive. I need to know, like, watch behind the scenes at his website. I, I, I want to go and watch the behind the scenes so badly right now because they, this is the most confused and impressed I've been at any video ever, period. The like, okay, go do some incredible stuff. The video of theirs I reacted to in a live stream where they've like got trained dogs and everything. Just the, the coordination of it was so cool. This is on another level because it is the, way that they're utilizing the science that is mind-blowingly awesome uh it's it's so cool to see and i love the fact that at the end here he hasn't tried to uh pretend that like every single sound that you're hearing in the song was made just by these experiments he hasn't tried to make it like when you see this uh when you see the sand moving that's a very different sound to what we heard during the song when that went off, you know? Uh, he's, he's literally shown that th the science behind it, that, yeah, we did this for the film clip because it's so cool and so awesome, but to actually get this to happen, these are the kind of tones you would need to use. 
it's not this pretend thing of you can use, well, I don't know, maybe you can use this kind of music to get the same results, but you'd think if you could, he would have. Either way, uh, absolutely incredible, incredible stuff. That was so, so cool. Uh, Nigel Stanford, man, uh, does he do more stuff like this? Are there more things that are going to make me question my entire existence? Because this one almost broke the simulation, I'm not going to lie. Uh, either way, check out the original video linked in the description below if you want to watch it without all my pausing and interruption. Regardless, if you want to watch it again, go to it and please give it a like and a comment and subscribe to Nigel if you haven't already because this kind of art deserves to be recognized and deserves to be supported. Also, leave me a like and a comment and subscribe to this channel. Leave in the comments any cool science facts that you have or any explanations about how some of the more confusing stuff in this video was done, especially that water, which is still tripping me out. Uh, also, check me out over on Patreon, where I run weekly polls for the reactions that I do. I also do weekly TV show reactions, a monthly movie reaction, a monthly live stream, and at the highest tier, you can get a guaranteed reaction right here on the channel, just like Kat did today. So check all that out over on my Patreon. I will see you all in the next reaction video. Have a great day, night, morning, evening, afternoon, whatever time zone you're in, and I'll see you next time. Bye.